I wanted to do a small haul of the art journaling supplies that I got from Amazon. I've saved a lot on most of the embellishments like stickers from the Dollar Tree so I wanted to put that savings into a really nice art journal and I think this was this was definitely under $20. It might have been 12 or 15 I don't remember exactly and it's real leather cover it's really pretty embossed it has a faux malachite stone and then this really beautiful closure I'll link to it in the description it is hard to close it one-handed but usually it closes fine um, and the pages are really nice and it looks like they might be hand bound the only thing I regret about this is that um, I got this closure which isn't going to be great for an art journal because when I fill it up with a bunch of collages and stuff it's going to be like this thick and so I wish I would have gone with a um, one that just has the band that wraps around it. So when I link in the de description I'll also link to a version of that that I wish I would have gotten. These are by Jim Holtz, their ideology um, quote chips, and they just have a lot of different words. I was surprised that words are really probably the most expensive items I've been looking for, as well as letters. Um, and I have a lot of things to say in my art journal, so I think these were around $6, and there's 60 of them. Oh. 58. I got Elmer's clear and repositional glue sticks. I hope this works as well as regular Elmer's. And then this is the only book of paper I've gotten because I want to use a lot of found paper. This is Marble Cardstock by Colorbock and it's 12 by 12 cardstock, two sheets of each design. And they're these really beautiful, they're calling it marble, but to me, it almost looks like stone. Oh, I left that sticker on, so I'll just, like, look how beautiful it looks like stone. So I'm really excited. So these are the most expensive pieces in my art journal, and the rest will just be Dollar Tree items, so I'm really excited to get started.